Lori's falling a little bit into that front leg. She's really struggling to be grounded in the back leg, but she does have the flexibility. So I'm gonna try to kind of get the pose a little bit more compact and stronger. Let's see yours. And Melissa's front hip is just dropping. And I can tell her, because she's, she's a smart mover, and I can tell her to move her pelvis, but it'll be coming from her spine. And I actually want it to come from her hip. So I'm going to give her a variation. And we'll start with you, Melissa. Let me grab the uh, uh, belt. And I'm also going to give you two blocks, because I know you prefer the blocks. So come on over here a little bit more into the light. So what I'm going to do with Melissa is give her this belt. And it's going to go across her front hip. So it's, you're going to step into it. Mm -hmm. She's going to hold it in that hip crease. And it's going to go under her back heel. So st step wide, like, yep, so I know where to put it. Yep, excellent. And then I can just tighten it for you. You OK there? Hold it in place and bend forward. Uh-huh, perfect, 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 good. Excellent. So what I'm doing now is I'm giving her just a little bit of support here in the hip. Can you feel that? So that she, and she's using the back heel to drive down so she can control it a little bit more. I still could get a little bit more out of it, but again, I'm not looking for a total ideal. I'm just looking for her to find the skill so she knows she can use her legs to get a little bit of change. I'm also going to encourage her to take her right hand forward a little bit more. She can also do it with the left because she was a little bit congested here. Ah, that's good in the right side. So she really has to work this right side because she just wants to crunch in on that side when she goes into hip flexion. 